Edge guarding is a high level tactic which focuses on preventing your opponent from recovering when you knock him off stage. If done properly, it is oftentimes a high reward and low risk maneuver. The most important element of edge guarding is positioning. It's about knowing where your opponent can recover, guessing where they will recover, and then positioning yourself to intercept that recovery. The other vital element of edge guarding is reaction time. It's about assessing where your opponent is, what options they have to recover, and how you can counter those options. Even once I see my opponent fall off stage and use his double jump, I know he's recovered from PK Thunder too. I immediately gravity pull it and then I an early kill. This all happens within the span of a few seconds. You can see both those elements in play right here. Once my opponent falls off stage, I position myself on the ledge waiting for an option. I react to him missing with the double jump forward air and immediately punish him with two back airs and up B. You can see those elements coming into play right here. Once I hit my opponent with the forward tilt, I jump. Ready for him to jump? No, he cannot immediately grab the ledge. Instead, he up B's below the ledge, which I have enough time to react to and kill him for. In this scenario, I'm fighting a Rob. Once I see my opponent's Rob jump off stage, I take away his double jump with my forward air, forcing him to go for a ledge grab, which I take away using my dash attack. Afterwards, he's forced to use his up B, and so I position myself in ways that I can react to where he's going with up B. And I just keep hitting him until he runs out of gas. By the time he's out of gas, the only option left is using back air, and I stuff his back air attempt, leading to the stock. Here I'm fighting a Captain Falcon. Once I knock him off stage, I jump in the air, stopping his recovery if he goes above the ledge or horizontally towards the ledge. He side beats towards the ledge, and I have enough time to react to it with a down air. Afterwards, I just have to follow up with my back air when he does up B, then a good kill. Here I'm fighting a Dr. Mario. Once I knock him off stage, I position myself on the ledge, ready to react to his next option. I react to his double jump and his air dodge, leaving me at the perfect position to back air him. Each example of this video showcased two key elements of edge guarding, positioning and reaction times. It takes a lot of practice to master, but practice makes perfect and the results can be devastating. 